Thank you for joining our presentation on care transitions and impacting superutilizer patients. My name is Amy Daly. I'm a licensed nursing home administrator and a member of the Alliant Health Solutions Partnerships for Community Health team. After watching this video and reviewing the recommended resources, you can begin planning or building on your strategy to care for superutilizer patients. When we talk about readmissions, it's important to talk about the small number of people who have multiple readmissions and or emergency visits that account for a significant portion of healthcare utilization and expenditures on an annual basis. You may have heard these patients referred to as frequent flyers, boomerangs, super utilizers, or multi-visit patients, often erroneously thought of as unimpactable meaning no matter what care you provide, they will be back to the emergency department or readmitted to the hospital. National Care Transition subject matter expert, consultant, and healthcare influencer, Dr. Amy Boutwell, encourages us to be anti-unimpactable. Let's take a look at this paradigm shift and talk about ways we can have impact. Impacting superutilizer care takes a well-organized team that includes internal and external partners, most importantly, including the patient and any identified care partners. Other key team members include IT, data analysts, emergency department leaders, and case managers. While team composition may vary from community to community, other common partners are behavioral health providers, primary care providers, and transportation providers. This interdisciplinary interagency team is key to developing a community plan of care to manage the complex medical and social needs of these patients. While not actively involved in creating individual plans of care, senior leadership support is critical. Project charters with a senior leader project sponsor are a best practice for engaging senior leaders and securing ongoing support for your work. The key to reducing a patient's utilization or number of visits is to try to do something different, especially when the previous clinical interventions have not been effective. Begin by analyzing your data to identify who the patients are that have high utilization. Define what frequent utilization means for your health system. The Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, CMS, defines superutilization as a patient having four or more ED visits and or four or more hospitalizations in one year. Once you have analyzed your data and identified your superutilizer patients, the team can then begin to learn what the individual drivers of each readmission or ED visit are. Avoid making assumptions, take time to establish a rapport, use open-ended questions that require the patient to reveal more details, listen carefully for fears, concerns, and what matters most. The goal is to identify the root cause driver of utilization, then to develop and initiate an individualized community plan of care based on those drivers, and to actively follow up to link not just refer the patient to services and support needed to be successful. The relationships built across the continuum are important to develop and maintain as you build these plans of care one patient at a time. Be intentional about learning provider capabilities, current contact information and expertise that each service agency or provider brings to the table. Alliant Health Solutions has curated tools and resources into a one-page document to guide the multidisciplinary healthcare team's approach to managing the care of superutilizers. You can access this tool by scanning the QR code. I'll highlight a few of the tools and resources to help you with each step in the approach. Let's start with the Agency for Healthcare Research and Quality, AHRQ's Data Analysis and Readmission Review link. Clicking on Data Analysis and Readmission Review link brings you to the Designing and Delivering Whole Person Transitional Care page that contains this list of tools and the full Aspire toolbox. 
In order to change from a mindset of unimpactable to one of impactable, providers need to begin focusing on the drivers of utilization for these patients and recognize a goal to reduce a patient's number of visits per year rather than eliminating their utilization altogether. As you develop or refine your facility's approach, begin by defining superutilization for your organization. Utilize your claims-based data to identify top diagnoses and drivers of healthcare utilization to inform who needs to be on your team, both internal and community partners. Use your real-time data to determine who is visiting you a lot and begin to identify commonalities and differences in their experience. Use a one patient at a time approach. The Agency for Healthcare Research and Quality, AHRQ's Aspire Guide Excel tool can help you to organize, analyze, and interpret your super utilizer data. This image is a sample dashboard. To create your dashboard, follow the instructions on the instruction tab, then enter your facility's super utilizer data into the data tab. Use the visual displays of your data to help you monitor and track your progress and inform your process. The driver of utilization is not the primary diagnosis. It is not the chief complaint and it is not the complex medical history. It is the human individual reason that this person with all of his or her complexities and social needs comes to the hospital so frequently, while yet another person who is similar does not frequent the hospital. Ensure that your process for identifying unmet needs includes the voice of the patient and their care partners. Let's take a look at the PREPARE tool, which is a protocol for responding to and assessing patients' assets, risks, and experience that is used for screening for the social determinants of health. The driver of utilization cannot be identified through a chart review. It's necessary to talk to the patient, the family or caregivers, and or the community, clinical, or service providers. The PREPARE tool guides the patient and provider through a series of standardized patient risk assessment questions to help identify all of the drivers of utilization. Often, there is more than one reason why the patient is preferentially using acute care setting and using it so frequently. Asking why and what their needs are will help assess patients for clinical, behavioral, and social needs. Understanding the drivers of utilization allows the team to create targeted interventions aimed at meeting patients' care needs in the home and community to avoid unnecessary ED visits or hospital stays. This is not simply referring the patient to make a follow-up appointment. This is linking the person to the appropriate community resource where a relationship is established, an appointment is scheduled, and a navigator may be assigned to guide the patient's care needs when they leave the hospital. Next, let's take a brief look at AHRQ's Designing and Delivering Whole Personal Transitional Care Tools, number nine and number 11. AHRQ tool number nine provides discharge planners with a set of prompts to identify readmission risks and to ensure that those risks are identified so that the care team can address them in the patient's community care transition plan and effectively link the patient with the appropriate resources and providers to meet their needs. Alerts in electronic health records let clinicians know when the patients arrive in the ED. These alerts also contain information that can help create efficiencies in linking these patients with resources that meet their needs. The alerts can be designed to trigger notification of the hospital response team and or external partners that the community plan of care for this patient should be activated. The resources section of the Alliant Health Solutions one-page document has links to presentations on ED alerts. Effective interagency and interdisciplinary collaboration to co-manage community plans of care for patients is key to developing improved processes for post-hospital care. Create and maintain a comprehensive list of community care resources in your area using AHRQ's customizable tool number 11. 
A link to this tool is located on the resources section of the Impact Super Utilizers page. Review the resources that Alliant Health Solutions has gathered for you with your team. Decide what you can do differently and begin one patient at a time to reduce multiple visits. For additional questions or coaching support, please reach out to your state's program director, Julie Keeker, or deputy director, Leanne Souls. We invite you to also join us on your favorite social media channel. Thank you.